Alright guys, so today I'm going to be giving a quick shout out to MLT Card Tricks. If you guys like my channel, you guys will like his, so make sure to uh, stick around for the video I'm going to be showing you. Um, he's going to be featured here on my channel. You guys can watch the video and then go back. Make sure to subscribe to him. Anyways guys, I'll let him take it from here. And here is the video. What's up guys, MLT Tricks here, and first of all, I want to give a big thank you to Hester for letting me be featured on his channel. And if you guys like what you see in this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, because I post card trick performances and tutorials like this one, and also explanation videos for all the magic acts on America's Got Talent. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this trick. So for this trick, I'm going to be using the two red queens, the Queen of Hearts and the Queen of Diamonds. I'm going to go ahead and set them off to the side, because we don't need them quite yet. And at this point, if you were here, you would select any card from the deck. So let's just say you choose this one right here. This is a completely free selection. And in this case, you chose the uh, three, of, three of hearts. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take your card. I'm going to place it face down between the two queens. And at this point, I'm just going to give the deck a couple of cuts, just like this. I'm going to give it uh, one more cut and quick... Riffle Shuffle. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of the deck off to the side and come back to your card and the two red queens. So all, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to square them up. Um, go ahead and give them a quick spin. And if I snap my fingers, you'll actually see your card vanish from in between the two red queens, just like so. And the rest of the deck has been in your sight the entire time. So very slowly, I'm going to spread out the cards face down. You know, you'll see all the cards are face down, except one face up card, which should be your card, the three of hearts. So this is the trick, guys. I hope you liked it. And if you want to learn how to do it, go ahead and stick around for the tutorial. Okay, I really hope you guys like that card trick. It has a great effect on the spectator. And all you're going to need in order to perform this trick is a double-backed card and some double-sided tape. So really quickly for the double-backed card, um, some decks come with one. or And if your deck doesn't come with one, all you need to make one is like you can take the two jokers from the deck, place some double-sided tape around the edges of it, the one joker, and then just place the other joker right on top of it, and you have your own double-backed card. So that works just fine. And now I'm, I'm going to talk about the double-sided tape in this trick. So first of all, you're going to want to take um, two face cards from the deck. It doesn't, you, doesn't have to be the queens, but two face cards with the same color. And you're going to place a strip of double-sided tape right in the middle of the back of the one, one of the face cards. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the light so you guys can see. You can see there's a strip of double-sided tape, just a pretty small strip right on the middle of the back of this queen. So now for the setup, you're going to place the first, um, you're gonna place the uh, double back card right on top of the deck. And then you're gonna place the one face card without the double sided tape right on top of the double back card. And then you're gonna place the face card with the double sided tape on top of that. So really quickly, it should go, the order should go um, double back card, face card without the double sided tape on top of that and then card, face card with a double-sided tape on top of all of that. So this is the setup, it's quite simple. And from here, you're going to explain to your spectator that you're going to be using the two red queens for this trick or whatever two face cards you're using. So all you're doing there is just um, taking off the top card with the double-sided tape, flipping it over, and then just using it to turn over the second uh, face card. So you're gonna explain to your spectator that you're going, not going to be using these right away, so you can just go ahead and place those off to the side, just like this, and tell them you're going to use that uh, in the, later in the trick. So at this point, you can go ahead and have the spectator just choose any card from the middle of the deck. Make sure they don't choose the top card. Most spectators won't, but just make sure they don't or else the trick won't work. So let's just say they can have a free selection. So let's just say they choose this card. You go ahead and have them look at it, and you're going to want to see it too. So in this case, they chose the 10 of hearts. So as they're kind of looking at their card, you're kind of misdirecting them. You're going to be want to catch a pinky break under the double backed card, which is the top card. So what you're doing there is you're just going to slide it off with your thumb, pull it back, and get a small pinky break like this under the double backed card. So 
then uh, as you're kind of talking to the spectator, you're, you're going to put it, um, put their card right on top of the double back card, turn over the double packet as one. As you're saying this, you're just going to say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put your card right in the middle of the two queens. And what you did there, you turned over the double packet and you're just going to slide off the double back card. So really quickly, again, you have a pinky break under the double back card. You have their card. You put it on top, turn over the double packet, just like this, slide it off. You're sliding off the double back card. Or you're going to go ahead and put it right between the two queens. At this point, they think their card is right here. In reality, it's right back on top of the deck. So from here, you need to bring their card, the Ten of Hearts, to the bottom of the deck. So the way to do that is you're going to get a thumb break under their card, the top card, and bring uh, take about half of the cards from the bottom of the deck and just turn, bring those to the top face up. So what you're doing there is you're just explaining to your spectator that you're, gonna, you're cutting the cards. So when you do that, make sure you maintain that thumb break. You can see here between the two packets. And from here, bring all the cards from the bottom of that break. Same thing, you're going to bring those to the top face up, just like that. So what you've done there is you, is you have turned all of the cards face up, except the bottom card, which is their card. So at this point, you're going to explain to your spectator that you're going to do one more cut. So you're going to sw swing cut about half of the deck into your other hand, and then you're just going to place the rest of the cards right on top of that. So what you're doing there is you're placing their, you're making their card now the only uh, face down card in the entire deck, out of the deck. So once you've done that, you're just going to set the rest of the deck off to the side and tell your spectator that you're going to come back to the um, packet of three with the two queens and they think, again, this is their card, but it's really the double backed card. So you're just going to tell your spectator that you're going to square up this pack of three, just like so. And then what you're doing now from here, you're going to want to pinch this the group packet of three just like this. So what you're doing there is you're allowing the double side double backed card to stick to the back of the queen of hearts thanks to the double sided tape. So you're, you're just going to explain your spectator. You can do whatever you want. You can just, as long as you're pinching it, just do a couple spins, snap your fingers, and then you're going to reveal to the spectator that their card actually vanished um, from this packet of three. But in reality, it's just taped, stuck to the back of the uh, Queen of Hearts because of the double-sided tape. So this part of the trick, it's really powerful because it really makes a spectator believe that their card had really actually disappeared. And if you can just kind of um, turn over the cards like this and show them that their card really is gone. And as long as the corners are square, um, they won't notice that there's a card stuck to the back of the one of the face cards. So from here, you're just going to go ahead and um, place the two cards down, the two uh, face cards. At this point, the spectator is really blown away. And you can make the point to the spectator that um, this, the rest of the deck has been in their sight the entire time and you haven't touched it or anything. You're going to go really slow at this part and you're going to uh, explain to the uh, spectator that you're going to spread out the cards face down. And all you're doing there is you're just spreading out the cards and then you're going to show them that all the cards are face down except one card, which is their card. So at this point, they really will believe that their card has suddenly just vanished from uh, the pack of three and, and then somehow became the only face up card in the entire deck. Okay, that is gonna conclude the performance and tutorial for this really cool teleportation card trick. I hope this trick works out for you guys. And again, a big thank you to Hester for letting me be featured on his channel. I hope to see all of you back at my channel, and thank you guys for watching. Peace out.